friends for final victory animal rescue back in the studio for this week's edition of prime time pops. that's right general manager of final victory animal rescue michael sneezing joins us now with this week's prime time pup named paxton and boy what a love he is my goodness he's got a lot of personality on you can't even see him right now let's see if they look yeah, there he is pop up oh, there boy oh, oh, he's in there he'll pop in <laughs> He's looking good. There he is. Paxton. He's about one of the cutest. Yeah, he's been a really cute. He's definitely one of our favorites for our Dog of the Out program. Everybody loves him. They just love his personality on him. Kind of I mean, looks like an old man. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. But he's he's got a lot of just spunk and personality. Mm -hmm. and, but he is a very lazy dog. They said he loves to be just in your skin cuddling with you. That's like his personality is what's been described by everybody. Well, I'll tell you what, just moments ago, off camera, I mean, he was uh, down on the ground, on the back, waiting <laughs> for some pets and some <laughs> belly rubs and all that. Yeah. So we know that he's game for all. Yeah, and he was a little vocal to you too, which was adorable. That was yeah. our first time seeing that. Yeah. yeah. Walked in the studio and just said hi. Yeah, <laughs> he's definitely got a lot of love to give. How long have you guys had him? Kind so of the story a little we've bit. had him about two weeks. He came to us from the municipal shelter. Um, you can kind of see those shave marks on him. We don't know how those occurred to him, um, which just gives him a little bit more personality. But we don't really know a lot about his backstory. And He's just a, a wonderful, wonderful guy. He's been great since arriving at the kennel. He's been very easygoing, very chill. A pleasure to have him at the kennel. He's been a really nice dog to have. He's very easygoing, very clean. I mean, he's just hes just a lover. He's a great dog. Oh, that's great. And how old is Paxton? We have him probably at like a year to three years, kind of in, in that range is what we have him estimated as for his age. Um, we typically use for teeth to base off their age. Right. Okay. Well, his face, he looks very mature for his age, but you know, that's just wisdom right there. He is such <laughs> a little just, sweetheart though. And how wants, does he do with kind of other dogs? Have y'all had that? Oh, he loves other video? dogs. Yeah, so he loves other dogs. He's kenneled up with another dog right now what are you doing he's yeah. like he's seeing some carbs you can't out. eat that yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what right. are you doing <laughs> to see what's going on what, what sort of breed do you think he is honestly hard uh, to tell, it, right? it is hard to tell Either you know he kind of looks like a wolf hound deer hound maybe doodle yeah. honestly we don't know we haven't kind of listed as a mixed breed what mutt do you think? um because i mean we can't guarantee that he is a doodle so if yeah. somebody's looking for a doodle and hypoallergenic we can't guarantee that okay but he's a good boy. That's when the best he, way to describe it. He's yeah, a good boy. When he was talking earlier, it was not as much a bark as it was kind of a howl. Yeah, he did. He did that ooh to you, which yes. is adorable. Yes. He just he just talks to you. He doesn't he doesn't do a lot of yapping. He just does a little talking. Yeah. Yes. He'll let you know he's here. Yeah. Although I will say, you know, when he popped on his back there and demanded the belly rubs, <laughs> I would say that definitely has doodle characteristics. Yeah. You know? He's got he's got. <laughs> Bless you. you. Okay. And it's allergy season now, <laughs> yeah. so he's got that sneezes going up. What are you doing? Yes. Get one more. Oh, there it is. Sweet. One more. Boy. <laughs> sweet boy. Yeah. What are you doing? Awesome. What okay. A sweetheart. Oh, one more okay. itch. So here's a little bit about his personality right here. So two year old mix, like you were saying, you kind of ballpark that. He loves other dogs. So not yet been tested with kids. So that is something to take in consideration. But honestly, I mean, he's been such oh, a love with us. That he's going to be great with kids. Exactly. Yeah. He has been amazing with us and real kind of comfortable, which is nice. He's not getting scared by any yeah, of the lights. Great car rider. Me. I mean, he just That's sat huge. right down in yeah. the back, jumped in by himself. He does great. Oh. As I said, our Doggy Out program, he loves it. He goes with everybody. Everybody's just been just over the moon with him. Everybody talks about how wonderful he is and oh. how much he loves them. And he's, they said he's a lazy boy who loves to be in your skin. He tries to sit in your lap while driving sometimes. Oh. He, said, but he did, he did great driving over here with us. Yeah. So if you're looking for a cuddle bug or something there, this, this might be your, your one to take home. So, ooh, butt scratches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> he's a fan of these. <laughs> yeah. So well, you can head to finalvictoryrescue.com for more information on Mr. Paxton. <laughs> And uh, what a great dog. <laughs> Looks like he'll make perfect addition to most any family. And of course, the whole team over there at Final Victory Animal Rescue is waiting for anyone who wants to come in and either take a dog out for a day in their doggy day out yeah. program, or if you want to give a pet a forever home, you can visit the team at 919 North Lucas Street, West Columbia. And of course, every Monday here on Primetime, we introduce you to Primetime Pups. Paxton is our pup of the week, and yeah. I, I'd say he was a great pick. What a pup he <laughs> is. We love you, Paxton, and somebody else is going to love him too, whether it's Doggy Day Out or your new family member right here. He'd be a great addition. That's Thank right. you so much of for course. introducing us to sweet little Paxton for being here as well. We'll be right back with more primetime after this.